of the Freak Show, Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my first look mini series on Dark Rose Valkyrie. It is by Idea Factory and Compile Heart, and it releases on to PC April 10th, 2018. And yeah, I was pretty excited to see that, to be honest, because it only released for the PS4, and I was a little bummed out by that. I'm like, oh, this looks like a fun game. I'd probably play that. And sure enough, it finally came to PC. They sent it my way, and here it is. I'm going to be showcasing it for all of you. Now, as a quick disclaimer, or just a, a reminder, if you will, most of Idea Factory and Compile Heart games tend to skew a bit more toward the risque side of things. They tend to, I'll say, overly sexualize their characters and things of that nature. So just be aware. It's kind of a disclaimer. So I always encourage parents to screen any content or media that their children are consuming, whether it be music, movies, let's play videos like mine, or video games. So, again, it's not for everyone, but... It's also not much worse than anything you would see in your traditional or typical anime. Anyway, that being said, let's hop in and see what the game's all about. We're starting, huh? We are starting. Alright, so we have three different difficulties. We have easy, recommended to those who wish to casually enjoy the story. Mission rewards are reduced, and earned points at the battle screen are increased. Then we have hard, a difficulty setting for those who have some experience with J or sorry, with RPGs in general. Recommended uh, to those who wish to enjoy the combat as well as the story. And then those that are sadistic or masochistic, I guess it would be masochistic, not a recommended difficulty for a first playthrough. Mission rewards are increased, however, points earned after battles are reduced. And, and let us begin. Asahi Shiramine, I have a few things to ask of you. Please answer these questions to the best of your ability. Do you prefer rainy days or sunny ones? Actually, rainy. Hmm, I see. Here's the next question. You obtained extremely valuable healing medicine. At what moment would you decide to use it? Huh... If I need healing, I'd use it normally. It's too valuable, I'd never actually use it. I probably only use it when fighting a powerful enemy. Interesting. By the way, I did, like I said, I did play a little bit, maybe like 20 minutes or so to kind of get a feel for the game and everything else. I don't usually do that with first look videos, but I felt like I had a little bit of time. I wanted to check it out. So anyway, long story short, there were actually different questions the last time I started a new game. So that's, that's kind of interesting. As they say, interesting. Please allow me to ask you this next question. Out of the following, who is the most important person to you? My parents, my significant other, my children, my close friends. That's my wife. There are two more questions. Do you prefer the ocean or the mountains? Mountains. I'd rather stay in my room. Yeah. Yeah. I have one final question. What is your definition of of fate. It's something decided for you. Your fate is in your own hands. It's an opponent that is battled constantly. Your fate's in your own hands. That will be all. I will contact you with your results at a later date. Until then, please rest. You, the one in possession of the ultimate beginner's luck, I wish you good fortune in the journey ahead. Well, that was weird. This is your captain speaking. We will soon be landing at New Haneda Airport. Please ensure your seatbelts are fastened. Sweet. And your seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright position. Once again, we sincerely apologize for the delay. Apparently, we fell asleep on the plane. Finally here, huh? That went by pretty quickly. Well, after we took off, anyway. Okay, so I don't know about anybody else, but... The, the aircraft that I've flown on thus far, the seats are a bit closer, like quite a bit closer than the seats in this little picture here. And the windows are quite a bit smaller, actually. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts? Have you flown? Uh, does it seem to be, and they seem to be, it's hard to really say, I can't, I can't gauge, but like how narrow the seats are. They're relatively narrow, so mm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this doesn't seem true to, and it's, it's fine. I didn't expect to dream about my interview, though. I must be more nervous than I thought. I can't believe I'm finally going to be joining the National Chimera Defense HQ. I hope this goes well. 
Well, I don't know what that is, but I can't believe it either, man. Asahi Shiramine. Shiram, Shir, Shira, Sh it's close to that. It's something similar to that. That was a lovely city view. A little busy, though. There aren't any more trains headed to the capital today. This isn't good. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have agreed to have that car of theirs pick me up. Hmm. I really wasn't planning on spending money on a cab. Well. Two hour flight delay is really going to cost me. What am I saying? That's not so far. I should just look at this as another opportunity to exercise. Really? You're just going to walk it, huh? Yeah. All right. I should get moving before nightfall. I don't want to run into any chimera. Uh, it, isn't that what you're going to join? Shouldn't you be, like, suited to deal with that already? I, I don't know. All right. Well, we're going to hop right into some gameplay, finally, which is cool. I, I say finally. Some games, it's, like, really long before you get into the gameplay. Right now we get a little bit of gameplay, so that that's a it's a decent balance. All right, so there we go. We have the attack, we have the jump, and then our menu button. Yeah, apparently we don't start off as a pathetically weak individual. We actually start off with 4,500 HP, which is pretty decent. I have no idea what this thing is. The restart point. Oh. Huh. Interesting. I'm not sure what that does, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we play. All right, to the event. I jinxed it. Can I escape? Uh, I'm completely unarmed. Uh, shouldn't we? There's no way out. See something? What am I gonna do? Here, use this. Okay, what's the? What Who's the? There? My name's Ai Yakumo, but the formalities can wait. You should be able to use that. Hurry! The heck is that thing? Oh, yeah, because that's not so super heavy. What? Ultimate beginner's luck. Isn't just for show. Ultimate beginner's luck? Mm -hmm. Okay, in battle, lowering an enemy's HP to zero will defeat them. Defeat all the enemies and win. Of course, if you have your HP reduced to zero, you lose. You can select your battle commands to the command menu with up and down on the D-pad. With some exceptions, by selecting your action in the command menu, you can then view various related menu screens. This is a little bit of an odd um, combat system. I don't know if I like it, don't like it. it it's sort of... Well, you'll see. You'll see. In combat, the tactical weight gauge displayed on the left of the screen will become important. It displays a character's action state and a character's icon will move up this. A character's movement speed on the tactical weight gauge affects their speed. When the icon reaches the action point, that character can select an action. Okay, attack level speed doubled when action completed. Action point, where you input commands. Once it reaches the top, it'll return to the bottom and speeds return to normal. Once an action is selected, the icon will begin moving to the attack level set for that action. And once it reaches this point, it will execute the action. Usually the greater the action, the higher the attack level will be. Once a character finishes their action, they will speed up to the top of the gauge. Once the icon reaches the top, it will return to the bottom. Okay, the number next to an enemy's icon is their turn counter. And enemies can act for that number of times with one icon movement. Okay. Be wary of enemies with large numbers. The frame color around the number also represents their first action type. So normal, special, and recovery and art. Normal, special, recovery, support, and art. Okay. I think I got it all. You should stand down. Okay, so we're up against that right. terrifying creature with this gigantic weapon that we somehow can just hold and it's not a big deal. Alright, holding that with two hands, would you, like that's like a... I don't know. Okay, so if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, that's the tactical weight gauge. We can defend by pressing X, I guess, which I'm just going to do right now. When all allies and enemies have not reached the action point, you can speed up icon movement on the gauge with the right bumper. Fast forwarding has no favorable or unfavorable effects, so it's best to use when everyone's waiting for their action. Okay. Standing my ground. So technically you can just right. fast forward. It doesn't really affect anything. It just cuts down some of the animations. So I imagine as you play more and more, you don't really care so much about animations, you'll probably do that. 
I'm gonna go with the attack, so I'm gonna press A for that. Okay, and it looks like he's gonna go. He missed two of his three attacks there. We're gonna go again with a level one attack, and then we're gonna try to finish it off with maybe a level two. He went berserk, I don't know what that means, but it seems bad. But again, we have 4,500 HP. Oh, he's really quick, apparently. Alright, we're gonna end him with a level 3 attack, actually. Yeah. Enemy neutralized. That, was, that was a pretty good attack. I don't know what max hit simultaneously. I don't know what any of that stuff is just yet, but we didn't earn any bonuses this time around. We did gain a little tiny bit of experience, and then we could scroll through different characters to see stuff, but that's fine. We did, we did get a, a Medi Salve, which I assume is a healing potion. Just as I thought. Uh huh. What did you thought? <sighs> I made it somehow. Thank you, Miss Yakumo. But what is this weapon? I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh oh. It's either a stomach or Shoot. there's more. Ah. Uh. Miss Yakumo, get out of here. What? Beginner's luck really only applies to beginners. Does that mean you're not a beginner now? I've got to show them that I'm not all just luck. You've got a lot of spirit. That much I can tell. Strange. Don't push yourself too hard, though. Oh. You killed it. Okay. This weapon isn't for decoration, you know. Don't just sit there. Prepare yourself. Sweet. Right. And charge and arts have been added to the help topic. I don't know what charge does. Ouch. Ouch again. So we have charge. I don't know what it does though. Hmm. We can. Oh, we can actually do all auto combat. We can set auto too. That's interesting. We actually have arts. Mighty Slash, Flare, Drive. Let's do a Freeze Drive on that guy. Why not? For everyone's sake. And I just want to see what Charge does, but we'll use Arts first. Super Slash on the back. Oh, can't. Got to do it on the front. Wow, that was a tremendous amount of damage that we just did. As was that, damage compensation plus 6%. Alright, I want to see if charge gives us back any of our AP that we used for the skills. I'm assuming? But I don't know. No, we literally charged into them. I'll do that too. Okay, well, we're gonna attack. Oh no, we missed once. Oh, we still got him though. Okay, our max hit is 1% bonus, and our breakover is 2%. Our bonus total is 3%. I don't know what any of this stuff means exactly yet, but we'll figure it out as we go, guys and gals. Rem Remedine and a Medi Salve once again. We got six marks. Cool. That's all of them. Good work. It's all because of you. Thank you, Miss Yakumo. So, um, my name is. You're Second Lieutenant Asahi Shiramine, the new captain at Air Interception HQ, right? Yeah. Uh, How did yeah. you know? Because she's also wearing like the exact same uniform you are, only it's slightly different colored, and she doesn't have a tie. Should be an indicator. Oh, because. I. That wasn't fair. You weren't supposed to run ahead of us like that. You two are a little late. What? Ugh. Don't you remember the plan? I was supposed to heroically appear at the last second and save the day! Yeah. Amal, you can't just plan for something like that to happen. But that's what was supposed to happen! Well, you failed. Uh. Um, who are you all? 
Sorry, could you wait a moment more? We should introduce the whole team all at once. Convenient. Speaking of, see, look over there. Oh, what's that? What? More Chimera? Did they call reinforcements? Don't worry, it's already over. The team took care of them. It. Huh? Oh my, everyone is already here? I apologize, we got held up. Fair enough. Three, four, five. Did Apparently, it's five. These chimera? Yeah, but this could hardly be considered exercise. Well, now that we're all here, allow me to properly introduce ourselves. Interesting. We are the five members of CIHQ's test raid force, and we've come to pick up our new captain, Asahi Shiramine. Well, so they're gonna be my subordinates. Interesting. Test raid. What? Your apologies, but there's no time for this. We shouldn't keep the director waiting. Please, Captain, let us hurry. We will follow your orders from this point onward. I feel like we're the ones that are really inexperienced, and or we're the one that's really inexperienced, and probably shouldn't be following our orders. I don't think we know what we're well, doing. It's already time to show your stuff. Do your best, Asahi. Who's that? Consider this an assessment. <sighs> This pressure feels strange. What? <laughs> Everyone has high hopes for you as our new captain. That's all. Let's get going. Right. Then everyone, it's my honor to work with you. Let's go. Okay. Excuse me, sir. This is Yakumo of the Test Raid Force. I've brought Second Lieutenant Asahi Shiramine. Come in. All right, I guess we'll get to find out more of the story. Second Lieutenant Asahi Shiramine, thank you for coming such a long way. Yes, sir. I apologize for the delay in my arrival. I sent them to pick you up, as I assumed there would be no trains. I hope that wasn't a bother. Not at all. I made it out alive thanks to them. Seems like a pretty good, good, good plan to send a group of armed crazy women soldiers of doom to make sure we made it safely because we were weaponless and in a lot of trouble so thank you we were able to see firsthand the skills of our new captain as well hmm. i see i'm glad both sides were able to benefit from the experience hi please tell the other members to rest yes sir bye hi. all right creepy guy what's up Okay. Wow. This is remarkable. What is? What is, sir? Oh. Oh, it's nothing. Your resemblance to an old acquaintance is quite surprising. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Taiki Shinohara. I'm Taiki the director Shinohara? of the Chimera Interception Headquarters. Trust me, I will be butchering tons of names. So, for now, bear with me that I'm at least relatively close to what these people's names are. Taiki, Taiki, oh great! I already, I already lost. It. See, Taiki Shinohara. I'm sure there's no need to tell you about Chimera Shinohara. at this point, but it's protocol, so listen at your leisure. Okay. This all began in 1818. Wow. A meteorite dubbed the Black Garnet collided into our planet, the origin of the virus, infecting both humans and animals, completely reconstructing their physical bodies. It came to be known as the Chimera virus. Well, that's bad. What happens to humans that are infected in particular? Well, I'm sure you know about that already. Yes, sir. Although they become smarter, they slowly lose their grasp of reality, huh. eventually turning into monsters. Right. Because our country secluded itself fairly quickly, we escaped the pandemic. But there's no end to those infected. The goal of CIHQ is to defeat the Chimera those no longer human and to prevent further infection okay that's fair that seems like a noteworthy and noble cause the unit you will be in charge of is a new state-of-the-art task force sweet. equipped with experimental technology double sweet <laughs> okay even when placed in a dire situation in your first battle you defeated the chimera alone you're very lucky Shermine. please lend both your luck and your strength to what is still an experimental unit sure Yes, sir. It's an honor, sir. 
I will fully devote myself to ensuring the success of this troop, sir. Thank you. Now I should introduce you to your CO. Ah, right on time. Come in, Lieutenant Colonel. Sweet, there's a Lieutenant Colonel. Lieutenant Colonel Miyako Osatani, reporting uh, for duty. Miyako Osatani, okay. Make sure to follow her instructions from now on. Sure. She's one of our best officers. Yes, sir. I look forward to your guidance and support, Lieutenant. Don't. I don't need the chief talk. If you mean that, you'll prove it to me by following my orders. Y yes, ma'am. First order. Take a walk, soldier. Get familiar with HQ and greet your future subordinates. Repeat. Yes, ma'am. My orders are to gain an understanding of this base by foot, and to greet the other members of the force. That's not really repeating, that's more to paraphrasing, but, you know, it's fine. Good. Return here when complete. Yes, ma'am! Interesting. What do you think? Can you use him? I can't say yet. I can only hope the girls won't make light of him. <laughs> You're awfully harsh. In this day and age, a man standing on the front lines is invaluable. Please, support him. So, is, are there just not very many men left? Is, hmm. Yes, sir. Does seem like there's an odd amount of male to female ratio for soldiers or units. I mean, it's fine. It just seems odd. All right. Okay. The oh boy, Icho. Ichinomia. Sure. Military base will act as your base. Here you can obtain information and prepare for combat. Told you I was going to butcher stuff, guys and gals. An icon will be displayed for each facility. If you choose one of the or one with the cursor and press A, you can move to that destination. When an exclamation point appears at an event point, an event will occur there. It's a good way to mark your progress. There are two floors to the base. Third floor and fourth floor. That's weird. And you can switch between those two with the left bumper or right bumper, or L1 or R1. There are two ways to deploy from the base, by leaving the front of the base or selecting a deployment destination on the world map. When selecting a deployment destination from the world map, you can move to the world map by pressing B, and you can select exit when leaving from the front of the base. Cool! Valkyrie Force, returning to base. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be where we break off this first episode of our First Look miniseries. Once again, the game is called Dark Rose Valkyrie by Idea Factory and Compile Heart. It releases onto PC April 10th, 2018, which should be the day after tomorrow or tomorrow, depending on when the video goes up. And if you want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, the publisher, any of the wonderful fun stuff, it will all be down below in the description of the video, as it always is. And again, let me know your thoughts down below, guys and gals. Comment. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, of course, and until the very next episode, folks, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>